All right, so got a, a comment and a question here from Martin Todd. He says, I'm not a flat earth, but am not here to troll or argue. I am genuinely curious how flat earth theory can explain time zones. As a time zone is just over 1,000 miles wide, does this mean you believe light travels at 1,000 miles per hour? And if that is it, how can you explain they only go east to west? If someone was 1,000 miles <clears throat> excuse me, north of me, they would have the same time, but someone to the east or west and it is an hour ahead or behind. As I said, I don't agree with your theory, but that's your beliefs, and you're welcome to them. But I'm not here for an argument, and I'm curious about how this can work on a flat planet. All right. So first of all, Earth is not a planet. All right. If your worldview is such that Earth is a planet floating in space, you're not going to be able to see outside of that worldview. So I have to recommend just forgetting about your worldview, challenging your worldview, and consider that everything you know about the world is wrong. All right, just to start from scratch. Prove all things and hold fast to that which is true. All right. And so, if you go outside and you take a look, you see the east, the the sun uh, r rising in the east and and uh, setting in the west. You see it, heaven above and earth below. Now, in Genesis, you open up your Bible, and in the very first verse, it says, "In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth." All right, heaven above, earth below. Now, um, if we if we go to this 2013 video here, let me go back here just to show you something here. You see Martin Todd, he asked the same question in both of these videos. So we go to 2013, and in 2013, somebody shared this animation with me and I thought it was pretty good you know at the time there was hardly anything at all on the internet on YouTube anywhere about flat earth so this was uh, good for giving somebody an idea and all you simply see is the Sun going around as opposed to the earth being a ball and spinning so <clears throat> Obviously, this is not accurate in any sort of way whatsoever. All right, so if we go to the 2014, which I, I wanted to expound upon that uh, a little bit to give somebody an idea so that they can see what I'm seeing. And uh, first of all, uh, Genesis 1, verse 5, And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. This is very interesting because you got light and darkness you got day and night three days before the sun was made all right so you got third day here and then you see god made the sun and the moon and that was the fourth day all right so you had day and night three days before the sun was made all right that by itself totally destroys the heliocentric model. All right. Well, here we go. Okay, so I like this image. It sort of splits uh, the light, if you will. Here we go. Alright, so somebody had uh, shared this animation with me and they did a great job. And you notice how the light is evenly separated from the darkness. You got dark on one side, you got light on the other side. Alright, and then that would be more accurate to what we see in reality. And it, and it uh, lines up uh, perfectly with the Bible when it says um, God called the light day and darkness he called night 
God saw the light that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness, right? Then this uh, supports that 100% with the exception of the actual sun and the moon, okay? Like I said, this was going on before the sun and the moon. Alright, so here I got a glass bowl, like a cereal bowl, and I got a flashlight shining in it and onto a glass plate. And you'll see how the light is dispensed, dispersed, or whatever, equally. On one side of, it comes out of one side of the bowl, and onto the plate it is split evenly. Half of it is light, half of it is dark. Alright, so this this is why I believe, uh, you know, they, they'll teach little children that the earth is a ball and that the heavens are flat. In reality, I contend strongly that the earth is flat and the heavens are a ball, in a sense. As demonstrated with the glass bowl. Alright, so again, um, depending on where the sun is, it's going to determine where or how much light is on the earth. And then, of course, um, it's also going to determine time zones. It, the, the time zone thing is it's sort of a clown question because there is no difference. Uh, you know, it, it all depends on where the sun is, okay? Alright, so if it's 12 o'clock straight here, then it's going to be 12 o'clock straight there. Alright, so one's going to be noon, the other's going to be midnight. That's how time zones work. Alright. Alright, so anyways, I think that's good enough right there. I just want to share that with you. I, I firmly believe that, uh, you know, you go to Genesis 1, you see that the firmament that God made the firmament. Okay, you go back to verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And then, of course, when you get to Genesis 2, thus the heavens and the earth were finished. Notice plural. And that's because in chapter 1, God made the firmament. And um, therefore, uh, and God called the firmament heaven. Therefore, we got heavens plural instead of just heaven singular right here. And again, if you have a Bible, and the, you have the Bible that you have says heavens in the very first verse, uh, throw that Bible in the garbage. No good. All right. No good at all. And that's one way you can tell if you got a correct Bible version. Just open up the Bible, look the very first verse. If you see heavens plural, throw that Bible in the trash can. All right. So anyways, there's not much more to add than that. Really, you know, you got you got day and night uh, happening three days before the sun and the moon, which was made on the fourth day. All right. Now, you first of all have to comprehend that. Uh, dismiss the idea that Earth is a planet floating through space. Forget about that. I know people want to believe in this comic book world, but it's not reality. You got one mention of the word planet in the Bible, and it has to do with Baal worshippers. It's in a very negative connotation, if you will, a very negative sense that um, this is not good. This is you don't want to be doing what these guys are doing. All right, and um, when it comes to stars, uh, they're not planets. Nobody's living on these stars. All right, there's one glory of the sun, another glory of the moon, another glory of the stars. For one star differ from another star in glory, and the Earth is not a star. 
All right, and therefore, if to call the Earth a planet is essentially using uh, terms that bell worshippers use when describing, um, you know, the the their worldview. Right. So, anyways, that's enough. Enough of that stuff. I appreciate that clown comment. Um, but in regards to time zones, it, there's no explanation needed to be given. All right. I, so I gave you an idea of how the light is split evenly on a flat Earth. Okay. And that should be good enough. All right. And if you have follow-ups, please do ask. But um, my guess is when you start out a comment that says, I'm not here to troll, your number one intention is to troll. I'm not here to troll. So I'll ask the same question, copy and pasted on three different videos. All right, so not appreciate it either way. Prove me wrong. Let me know if I'm too, being too hard on this guy.